Let's push these big bikes to the limits. Let's get them on rockier trails versus just your average dirt road. Because when we want to explore the backcountry, sometimes the journey is pretty tough, but the reward at the end is totally worth it. And that goes for any kind of trails, especially if you ride single track. The harder you work, the greater the reward. The more the risk, the bigger the prize. What's going on everybody, I'm Ride With Will and my buddy that is with me on this day is Meerkat ADV off of YouTube so be sure to check out his adventure trips. But nonetheless we both decided to tackle on the south which is known for its larger rocks with the exception of Colorado Passes and Utah of course. Yeah this feels it's great. Like, it might, it might, I can't tell if it's in like 2 miles or what. But uh, 65, 70 uh, miles an hour, just being 40 degrees outside, what it does to you. Yeah, it freezes your ass off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like it might just go to that house. They are that. <laughs> steering locked up. Hang on. Oh, I know what it was. Hang on. Oh, look, two dubs. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Oh, it's that same guy, yeah. Yeah, that's the two dubs. Sadly, with not much to ride on two wheels due to our recent snowstorms, we decided to tackle on a place called Penrose Commons. Till this day, it's incredibly challenging and will definitely test your skills on the more advanced stuff, but for this day, we decided to stick to the easier stuff just to get a small introduction on more somewhat technical rides and hopefully down the road we could take these 690s and the 701 on the more advanced black diamonds just to see how they do down the road. But for the most part if you were to tackle a black diamond on Penrose Commons it would be considered small bike territory. Clear. I give you a push. Okay. There you go. on this trail, forget it. Uh, I mean, you can do it, you just gotta be really careful about your line choice. I'm more worried about the blind corners than anything. Oh god, yes. We just connected back up to that other trail. I think so. I don't think that went anywhere. I was like, did not expect that. I thought it was going to be like this. <laughs> no, there was some deep gravel on that side. Oh, yeah. I was like, whoa. Um, I guess my rear facing filter died. Oh, that would be cool to get me. <laughs> um, it probably wouldn't, unfortunately, just because it's not wide enough angle. Uh, Early walk on. Oh, God, yeah. That sucks. Shut 
I don't know, this is so weird. I know, every time I come out here, I don't know. This, you're talking about the white thing or that pipe? The pipe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's huh. random. Yeah. So to wrap it all up, towards the end, we decided to do an area called Skyline Drive, if I remember the road correctly. You guys need to stop there if you are ever in Colorado and near the Royal Gorge area. It's open to all vehicles, but of course, the best moments are when you're on two wheels. But unfortunately, this day, I was having mic issues, so hopefully you guys just enjoy the scenery with some mic issues to go along with it. Other than that, make sure you hit that bell button if you subscribe to my channel so you can see all the trails I hit around Colorado and the neighboring states like Utah. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. There should be a sign for it. Yeah, this feels great. It like, it might, it might, I can't tell if it's in like two miles or what. Yeah. yeah, we like doing stuff like that too. I heard they got some trails out there too. Royal Gorge Bridge and Park. Sharp and clean.